God has a plan and a purpose for you. You know, the way that we end up seeing this is actually God ends up showing us a different way and a path. He changes our reality. Isaiah is one of the perfect examples that we end up seeing. Talitakum. Wow, he even tells the girl to rise. But also in the world, look towards it. And we would have seen that spiritual rebirth, how he can bring back from the dead. He can change life. Did you know that the way that we end up seeing within Isaiah is showing for the parallel for Israel? A mighty prince who sees God, who makes straight his path to go from the hill to the head. Actually, you understand that is to then therefore take a new God purpose. It is to change the way that we end up seeing the world and to take the action necessary to receive divine animation. It is absolute. Light is glory at its finest. And also the very love that we receive with a new connection with God's Jesus. It is to love the Lord and the body of our mind and soul and forth into perfection. That perfection that comes forth is actually a divine portion of destruction. We end up understanding how the God can lift us up, how he can take us and show us something, how he can take the very top of the world and give us a new way to view forth how he has opened up our mind while it is the inception of a new thought and the perception of reality itself, but also to have a deeper understanding and appreciation for the word of God. You can get into it so deep. Why, the most complex way that I ended up seeing it was in Jamatra. But they would show forth the value system for the word of God. But what I found was interesting. They would end up using numerical systems. So they would come Yahabai, value 26, and Davi for 14. Using, for instance, the Yodheva He for value would be 10, 5, 6, and 5, come up with the 26 on value, and find different words that end up having the same value that connected with the Lord. That's one of my favorite examples. But even in seeing this, what we end up seeing is that also that there is a way that we have a deep appreciation for each and every one. Now, if we look towards the Etzerah, the formation, and one of the higher levels of Etzerah's an understanding that connects us within the world of the uh, creation, then it is to understand that when we open up the world of God, the gracious parayal of each of us, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, how did God create? He spoke. John is the same way. In the beginning, it was the word. And the word is with God. And the word was God. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. That's one of the miracles that I was able to see in the is that when you speak the word of God and build forth creation itself, you actually end up seeing the miracles. And because of that, that gives you a deeper appreciation of everything that God's done. God has built forth the world of divinity, of aspiration, of creation. And because of this, we end up having that line of God. Why it is his eternal salvation and the connection that we end up having with him Savior. Because of that, we are reborn. You change history. And what you do is you actually soak forth the word of God and you build it forth day after day. It is enduring that leads from generation to generation. It is the completeness of his peace and his kingdom that you yourself are building forth the kingdom of heaven. And it is because of grace, undeserved grace. What can you do to please the Lord? Why it says it's like filthy rags. Imagine if I was to try to feed the Father. Father, I did a pushing thing. Well, I did 300. If I did 1,000, you still do more. It's the same way. Lord, I praised you today. Well, I praised you five times. Said David prayed five times a day. You still pray more. But to understand that it is repetition, it's constant. When you consistently pray, lift up adoration of the Lord, rep after rep, adoration of the Lord. That's the key. That's the golden key. It is to call on the Lord day after day, night after night. And receive love. Love God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul, all of your strength. I know that He opens up the eternal blessings of heaven. Eternal. You receive Christ. And because of that, God opens up the heavens. He gives you all spiritual blessings wisdom, knowledge, understanding, faithfulness, fidelity. Most important, love, faith, hope, and love. The greatest of those is love.